Hey guys, we're back in Fallout 4, and uh, this is going to be kind of like the intro to, thank you, Settler, um, to a mod that somebody told me about called uh, Sim Settlements, and I was kind of interested in, like, I'm not a big modder, this is like my vanilla run-through, it's been years, uh, <laughs> feels like, but yeah, so they told me about it because, like, look at this shit, like, look, look at this, sh like, this doesn't look good, I'm tired of doing it, it's taken up way too much time, so... I got interested into it, and I read up on it, so I thought, hey, you know, I used to do these for Skyrim, showing off some mods. Maybe I'll start doing it again. Who knows? So, first things first, we saw the mod. Um, I'll put a link in the description about using the Nexus Mod Manager. Uh, that's the easiest way to do it. That's the way I do it, because I'm lazy. <laughs> so, now we have to actually get the, guess what you would call instruments or whatever you want to call it to actually do this now this would be at the museum of freedom which you get really early and i'm sorry if you're just starting the game hopefully you're not <laughs> uh, there's a lot of crap on the screen but yeah just go to the museum of freedom and this is where you first meet preston garvey and you save him and his little crew of, of people that y you hate you learn to hate them like most of them, especially Marcy. But let's just skip that part about hating Marcy. Um, but at least you get Glenn. Noise. What? Um, so first, let me take care of them, I guess. All right, so you came to the Museum of Freedom. There's the front door. I had to fight a bunch of guys. Um, they all, like, came back in here. Uh, the front door, you run up the stairs, and here's the stairs you run up, and then you come right back to the new Coca-Cola machine. You come in the room. And it's quite easy to see right by this um, nice little terminal. You got a few things. You want to get this holotape. So you take it. You take this uh, uh, ASAM sensor 2077 model. And there's a couple down here. And by the way, you can actually make these later, but these are helpful to have, you know, starting out. Get, get, give me, give me. Why, why, game, game. There you go. <laughs> Um, there's probably more, I don't know if you can take these. Yeah, you can. Nice. So you just keep taking these model, these, all these sensors, all these boxes, and you're, take the five mils because you need those too. So you have your modules now, and you can use this terminal, and it's actually going to talk to you about this. And here it is, user J. Williams signed in. Yeah, yeah. Wrong sensors, wrong everything. All right, we received the new version of your program. We set the Pip-Boy edition. All these doohickeys he sent us are last year's model. There are hundreds of them. What are we going to do with all these? We expect you to send a courier to pick these up as well as deliver the correct program. Newer models, ones we ordered, and we all want the optional feeders, blah, blah, blah. Office of the Mirror. Uh, and this kind of just, like, shows a little bit, I think, about it. Yeah, this is just nice to show a uh, little bit of backstory with the uh, the actual mod that you installed. But it's actually quite cool. Um, so, yeah, you got the modules. You got the hollow tape, Everything's all set, ready to go. All right, now I'm going to cut ahead, and I'm going to go to a random settlement, I guess, and uh, and show you. All right, so you actually got the sensors, and you got the hollow tape. The next thing you want to do is go in your inventory, and you want to actually get... Uh, and read this the the actual sensor so you want to go to miscellaneous and it's going to be called city manager 2078 hollow tape so you go click on play and it's going to give you a few things it's going to do so it's verifying all this stuff you're going to press okay you can now build city zone plots and in your settlements which which sellers will build on oh yeah yeah the the English there lost me there. Each requires an ASIM sensor. And you could build those in the chemistry. So they're the chemistry workstations. You could build these. So we're going to configure zoning laws. You could do all this stuff. Auto assignment on. See all this stuff. This is crazy how much customization you could do here. So anyways, now that we got that all settled, we can actually go ahead and use these things. So this is a nice little area, I think, for doing uh, just houses here. So that's what I'm going to do here. Just just a bunch of houses on this part. So I'm going to hold it, and they're going to be under special, and you're going to see agricultural plots, commercial plots, 
and commercial, all these different kind of plots. And as you can see, they have raised ones. They have raised ones with like uh, this kind of structure. Uh, but for this one, eh, we could do it with just this one. So let's try and get this pretty close to the edge. You know what? We're not going to mess with that. We're just going to do our own. You know what I mean? Why, why, why even care, you know? Because they can handle it. So we got two out front. And we can raise it up a little bit. And do one there. And it can go crazy. Another one there. And one in the back, if it allows it. Why is it not snapping? It is snapping. Oh, cool. So that should be the front. I hope. There we go. Why can't it? Oh, wait. Oh. There we go. It was just a little glitch there. That, that was my fault, though. Um, where's the front? Can't see anymore. I'm <laughs> too low. Shit, and I can't jump. No. See what's going on. I, I made the actual residential thing, and they're already building on it. It's just kind of crazy. All right, let's have a look at this. Uh, oh, wow. Um, yeah. So he's already made his own little custom residential house thing for him. And we could just create, like, a simple... Uh, we could just do wood. Let's do some wood stairs to it. Like that. And then he can go right up. And this is his house. So as you can see, they, they built their own little house now. And it's pretty custom. So they have their own little mattress in here and everything's like unique. And you can see that... Wow, they're, they're getting started on this one too. Holy crap. And what's weird is that it doesn't even have... Um, I don't even have electricity going on these yet, and I need to. So let's build a couple more of these. Not go in there. <laughs> but you can see, get the idea. Man, it's kind of being a pain getting this to snap right now. Come on, you want a snappy snap? Please snappy snap. Wow. Yeah, it hates me right now. <laughs> so, we need some power in these things. Yeah, we these all need power. Um, so let's get some power going to them. I don't have enough science yet in this playthrough to do the huge generator. I need that. So let's just do um, one of these big guys, big horses, right next to it. And, uh, yeah, it's almost like a trailer park. Perfect. So we can just go boop. And then do this one. Hello. Hey. Hey. There. No. Come on. Don't you do this to me. Really? Yeah, I don't want to do that. Looks like it's getting in the way of that. So I might have to um, do a little conduit thingy here. Can I attach anything to this? Nice. So, do something like, come on, can this work now? There we go. Yeah, it was just getting in the way there. So now we got power to this one. We got power to this one. That just needs a person. Um, this should connect to this. They should just be able to connect. Yeah, there we go. Probably if I did it before it started building, it would have been fine. But I couldn't get to it first, so my fault. So yeah. And now, actually, might be better go from here to this one. If it lets me. No, but eh, let's do a little another connector. And that's what's nice, too, is you can uh, still use, you know, make customizations as you needed. 
uh, with this mod, so it doesn't like get in the way of doing things that you need to do, like what I just did. So yeah, so now these people have places to actually stay, and it's going to build up, and people are going to actually make this themselves, make them make them unique. I mean, look at this guy like flamingos, you know? <laughs> so it's pretty cool. And uh, if you want to see more about this mod, put it in the description, but you can kind of get the basic idea of what it's about. You have a few things. I don't want to waste everybody's time because it's going to be a long video. Um, a few different things. So you got your uh, agricultural plots. Now what this does is that wherever you place this, they will, you know, do an agricultural spot. So if I go back here, which I, as you can see, it is completely terrible back here. There we go. And I don't know why it's doing this right now, but we'll just do... Come on. You could, you could do it. Oh, because someone's there. Ah, thanks, Preston. You're you're amazing. Um, come on. So, we have one there. And now he's in the way. So, that's that's even better. You know, thank, thank you so much. They're just so helpful, you know? Why is this not doing it? What? Is it because he's there? I really think it's because he's there. As you can see, but eh, it doesn't matter. So this automatically does everything itself. It's got the little plot. I love that too. It even does the fertilizer and everything. And in that notification, as you saw, uh, it says a citizen has started working on it. So now one person is working on this 2 by 2 agricultural plot um, without me doing anything. Um, you, can you just go somewhere? Yeah, I, you, you guys are really going to hurt me. Um, yeah. <laughs> I regret these, these robots. It's huge, huge pains in the ass. So let's see if we can get another agricultural plot pushed up against this wall a bit. Here's another one. another one and let's just store all this because we don't need it and as you can see it's starting to build it right away. They're just going at the town, building these little plots of land where they're going to work. If you look at this one, see, there's that notification again saying that they're starting to work. And here they have a couple plants that they select. It's all at random based on the, the actual mod itself. So this is another one. Who knows what's going to be planted there? And they just get to work on it. Uh, let's see what else I can show you guys. Uh, I can show you Mama Murphy. Yep. Sorry. Uh, one thing to note about this mod that is a little bit of a pain, and I will say this to you uh, because it's it kind of sucks. They're huge plots. So is it going to work with every settlement? Maybe not. Um, with this one and a lot of the bigger ones, like uh, you, you'll, I'm not going to like, ruin it for you, it'll work fine. But it just kind of sucks uh, because of the size. Because now each one of these is only one house. So it's one person living per plot. So, like, if I really wanted to, I could probably, you know, stick a couple more beds in these things. But it would ruin it. It would ruin the whole reason for, for doing this mod. Is that you want every settler to actually have their own home. So it's more of, a, like the name shows, SimCity-like. Um, yeah, <laughs> I do recommend this, this mod. You could do shops with it. That's what these things are for. These commercial plots, um, these industrial plots are kind of like your scavenging stations, but a little bit different. It just is like a place where they store crap that they find, I guess is the best way to put it. Uh, requires electricity 
and you can come back and they'll just be crap later all around it. And it keeps refreshing itself too. And what's cool is that if you come back later, this is going to be completely different. You know, people are going to be moving in here and it just completely evolves as time goes on, uh, which is the reason why this mod is just amazing. Um, personally, looking at this mod, and I've only had a very limited time with it, I don't understand how this wasn't thought of when they actually made Fallout 4. Because it's yeah it's nice to have complete control and customization but it's also nice to see the unique ways especially like these houses and stuff you didn't make them but they're unique in their own ways in different rooms and stuff and that's what you kind of like to see about these things these little settlements are all going to be different and they're going to take their time to be built um but it's just really really cool uh and i definitely recommend it I'll make a probably a better video on it if, if people start asking more questions. I just wanted to give a really brief, you know, overlay of what it is, how to get started with using it. Honestly, I don't think I'm going to need to do another video uh, because it's just so well laid out. Like, the guy put so much time and effort. I, I could just see that he knows what he's doing. Like, I, I'm not going to make fun of all modders. There's a lot of mods that have a lot of weird kinks, but they put not enough time into it I think some of them they just want a certain element in the game and then they just quickly hash something together and sometimes it ruins the actual feel of the game like it doesn't feel like a vanilla game anymore this does not do that this will not ruin the feel of Fallout 4 and it hasn't well at least it hasn't for me this feels like something that should have been in the game to start with and uh, I definitely give shout-outs to the guy who made this. And everything's going to be in the description uh, for Nexus Mod Link uh, so you can get this going on your game and make your life a lot easier with not having to do everything for these settlers. Except for protect them because, you know, they can't, you know, look at this guy. You think this guy is going to do anything? This is Glenn, by the way. I call him Glenn because he just he reminds me of Glenn from The Walking Dead. I'm not sure why, but it's not, it's not a stereotype, I swear to God. So, yeah, he just whines and... Okay, back to the mod. Good mod, download it. If you need help, put it in the comments. I'll make a better video on it. I swear to God, this was done in like 15 minutes because I want to play Fallout 4 more. I'm ranting. Why are you still watching this? Get the fuck away from my settlement, you loud, obnoxious pieces of... Anyways. Goodbye.